All right, our fifth finalist is Naleen Leslie from the School of Communication. Her major professor is Dr. Felipe Corzeni. The title of Naleen's presentation, Are You Like Me? Will You Like Me? My research seeks to answer two main questions. Are you like me? Will you like me? Meet Dave, the central character in VW's 2013 Super Bowl commercial, who sparked nationwide controversy by imitating the Jamaican accent. Fast forward to September, we met Tassan. As writers describe her, the Asian singer with the Jamaican accent, who later became the first non-American to win the voice. Why was Dave so controversial and Tassan so well liked? Both Dave and Tassan and Tassan don't look like what we would expect a Jamaican to look like. But Tassan really was Jamaican. Dave was not. And that, I believe, made all the difference in the world. The fact of the matter is, people who look one way but sound another are increasingly common in America today. Take, for example, my friend Joanna. If I were to ask you where she's from, what would your guess be? Panama? Or Morgan, for example. She looks like our typical all-American girl, doesn't she? What if I told you that Morgan is actually half Colombian and speaks fluent Spanish? In pretest, when we put Morgan's pictures with other, with other pictures and ask people to rank them from most like me to least like me, non-Hispanic whites thought Morgan was most like them and Hispanics thought she was not like them. However, when we did audio clips and Morgan was speaking Spanish, the Hispanics thought Morgan was most like them, while non-Hispanic whites thought she was not like them at all. What if I were to put Morgan in a commercial that was targeted to Hispanics? Well, accommodation theory tells us that because Morgan sounds Hispanic, they will, one, perceive her to be like them, and two, like her. In short, when appearance and speech disagree, the way you sound is more important than the way you look. I intend to test this theory in my dissertation through a series of experiments that will expose participants to one of three ads, each featuring a model who looks one way but sounds another. What we expect is that because the participant perceives the person, because the model sounds like a member of that ethnic group, regardless of how they look, they will perceive them to be like them. Why is this important? People like Morgan and Joanna they are overlooked in media and advertising today because they don't have the Hispanic look. In fact, research on source effects tells us that physical appearance are key determinants of familiarity, similarity, and likability. I intend to expand work on that theory in another direction, which will have implications not just for marketing, but for communication theory and practice as a whole. So again, my questions, are you like me? Will you like me? Thank you.